Hi everyone, welcome to today's video for trade of the day and for today's trade of the day we would like to take a look at the Kiwi Yen. Now why I chose this pair is because the Kiwi for this week has been the best performing currency pair and the Yen has been the weakest. Also I note that there's a very interesting configuration on the 4 hour chart and of course starting from the weekly. <coughs> So here we have the Kiwi Yen, right? I just want to point out that price is currently holding below this long-term trend line, okay? Where we see that price actually held here once, held here a second time, and price seems to be coming back to this level as well. Now this level, if I were to take a retracement from the from where price swung high to the low, open off Fibonacci ratios. <coughs> I see that price is actually coming close to this um, holding in between 78.6 and 88 right there's no clear levels right so graphically we want to take this level here okay graphically we want to take this level here this we can call it our daily resistance ah uh, sorry weekly resistance okay so now we have the weekly resistance since the FIBO doesn't work so well but it holds in line with the trend line Let's go down to the daily. <clears throat> now on daily, we see that the trend line works just as well, right? And also at the same time, now that we zoom in on the daily, this area here, we see that price actually held below this resistance three times. And it seems to be coming up to test it the fourth time as well. So this can be both our daily and weekly resistance. Now, price made a strong push up from the low here. So let's take a retracement. From the low to where price currently is and we see that at a 61.8 right there's this sort of a support resistance and i mean it's a resistance that's been tested one twice and a third time if it comes back down this could very well be a resistance turn support so let's put this level in as well okay i'll call this the daily support all right, so I just want to highlight this level, the 61.8. Okay, with that, now that we have the weekly daily resistance and the daily support, what I'm thinking price could do is from here, make a push down towards the daily support. Now we know that price does never ever goes down in a straight line, but rather it goes down in a zigzag manner. So let's go down to the four hour to refine this idea. Okay, now ignoring this long-term descending trend line, on the 4 hour, we see that price actually started another push from here all the way to where price currently is. So let's take a retracement from the low all the way to the high where price currently is and open up all Fibonacci ratios. Alright, so what we see here is actually um, this 23.6 seems like a strong level, right? So it's, it's actually a zone, so if I'm going to put a support level here, Okay, and call this the 4 hour support. Alright, this could very well be well, where price comes back towards after reaching the weekly daily resistance. So this is the 23%. Okay, so I want to highlight the 23% and I also want to highlight the negative 27 too. Now, why I'm using the negative 27 to retracement ratio is because, I'm sorry, just highlight that 23% and negative 27.2 right with the arrow down okay so why I'm highlighting this negative 27.2 is because uh, that is I will put my stop loss just slightly above that level all right the reason why is when price actually breaks above this long-term descending trend line resistance and the weekly daily resistance and further above this stop loss all right it means that price would have to go against three different factors to say that look the bullet the bearish idea is wrong it is in fact bullish so a stop loss is the level where our idea and our bias is completely wrong so that is where i will put it all right so how i'll do this is i will use this level as my entry okay my four hour support as my partial take profit okay now once price comes down to here all right i'll take closer about 50 50 to 75 percent of my position 
then I'll move my stop loss to break even to protect my entry and then I'll let the remaining 25% um, go all the way down to the daily target. Alright, so that is how I will play this trade okay, for Kiwi Yen. Alright, so thanks everyone for tuning in to today's analysis of the Kiwi Yen. Uh, I wish all of you have a great weekend ahead and I'll catch you guys next week. Take care.